Here's a PlayStation looking one that looks really cool. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I'm going to do a comprehensive video going over everything you need to know to customize your home screen to look however you want on iOS 14. So there's a bunch of videos out there showing how to do certain things, but not everything all in one. I'm gonna show you all the widget apps. I'm gonna show you how to put photos on here. I'm gonna show you how to change your icons to whatever you want. And I'm gonna show you how to put those icons onto your phone. So I'm gonna break this up into three different sections and I'm gonna try to go through this as quickly as possible. So don't waste your time because trust me, there's gonna be a lot of other YouTubers making like 20 minute videos out of this. I'm gonna try to do this in under 10. So let's get to it. So the first thing is obviously the most basic here. And those are these widgets right here that show the date, the time, uh, the battery percentage. This one has the calendar and this one just has a photo that my girlfriend took of some sort of tropical fruit of which I forget the name. I'm sure she'll comment it down below. Here are the three main apps that people are using right now to customize their phone. Uh, widget Smith is the one that I use to make this one right here. And then Color Widgets uh, makes the other ones. And then lastly, we've got Photo Box, which makes this one. And you can kind of put uh, whatever you want for text. So that's how you make these. It's very simple to do. Anyone can do it. I will just show you guys one as an example. So if I open up Widget Smith here, uh, let's go over to the widgets. And let's say I want, let's do a large one. So don't click add a large widget. Uh, that will just make another uh, template. Just click on it and then click on it again. And you can choose some of these uh, defaults here, uh, whichever ones you want. Some of them like weather uh, you have to pay for, but it doesn't matter. Let's just choose, this one looks pretty cool. Choose your font. Um, they all look pretty good. Let's just choose, let's just choose this one for the sake of the video. Tint color, let's do blue or purple. And then the background, let's do cream just for the heck of it. And system setting for the time, that is totally cool. And that's it. So all we have to do now is head out of here, swipe over to your widgets page, hit edit, hit add, scroll all the way down until you see widget smith, click on that, and go over to large because that's what we created and hit add and boom, you've got your new custom widget, which you can drag straight over uh, onto whichever page you'd like. Uh, it does kind of mess up your pages sometimes, but there we go. Uh, so now I've got that on this page. I've also got this one, which is completely useless, but you get the idea. Um, one thing I don't like is that it really does mess up uh, your apps and stuff. Apple needs to fix that. But regardless, now you've got your calendar and time, however you want. So that's the first one. Second one here is color widgets. Pretty straightforward. So let's just say I wanted uh, this Powerpuff Girls one, because why not? Hit set. Go back over here. And there you go. Now you've got Powerpuff Girls. Uh, we can drag that over wherever we want. Uh, let's say right here and boom, you've got that. And lastly, photo box, very self-explanatory. Select your image. So just for the sake of it, uh, let's just choose this one. Uh, I want that on my home screen for some reason. And uh, I can make it small, medium, or large. Let's just do small. Then we can back out of this, go over here, find photo box widget, click on that and add it. And there we go. We have got that widget, which could be literally any photo I wanted. Uh, and I've got it right there. Super cool and super easy to do. Okay, so now we've gone over adding these very basic widgets. Let's get into changing the icons. So before we do this, I want to warn you guys, it's not as seamless as you might think, and it can get annoying for some users. Uh, in fact, most people that have done this actually regret it, it seems, uh, based on the forums I've read, but you can change your app icons in a roundabout way to whatever you want. So let's say I wanted this calculator icon to be the old timey calculator icon on iOS 6. To do that, first what you have to do is download a uh, icon pack. So I'll link this one down below if you wanna use it. It's the iOS 6 one. So here is that old uh, icon. So I've got it already saved to my phone. And to do that, I had to download it and drag it into my iCloud Drive files right here. Open up files here, click on that. Um, I've got them all right here. I just click on them, hit this, hit save. Boom, I've got it saved. Next up, you need to open up shortcuts, then hit plus, then hit add action, then scripting, open app, and then you choose your app right here. So we'll just choose calculator, just like that. So we've got the calculator app. So then just hit the three little dots and uh, name it however you want. So I named this calculator and then we'll click add to home screen. And when we do that, we actually have a choice right here. If we click on this little icon, we can choose a photo from the library. So then I'll just choose this one right here, choose and add it. And that should change it. And there we go. It is added to the home screen. So I can back out of here. And right there, you guys can see it says calculator. Now it's not perfect. Uh, I could clean up that icon a little bit. But what this is going to do when I click on it is it's going to open shortcuts for half a second and then redirect me to the real calculator app. So what you should do now technically is hold down on this, remove the app and add it to your app library. Don't delete it. Just move it to your library so that you have the app, but it's off the screen. So this is basically like a shortcut button. 
Uh, that's really all it is. Uh, but you can make these however you want. So again, if I click on it, it opens shortcuts and then opens the app. That is the only way to do it, unfortunately. And that is why people are finding this to be quite annoying. Uh, and once they actually go through and change all their icons, they get really annoyed that it does this every single time for every app that they want to skin with a new icon. So before you do this to everything, just know that this is going to be your reality and it's just gonna keep doing this. It can't actually open up. Also, you cannot get icon badges uh, for notifications on these, which is also a big bummer. So do I recommend doing this? Probably not for the average person. It's just not worth it. Um, adding photos is cool. Uh, and these widgets are actually also really cool as well uh, for quick at a glance information. So here is what it could look like when it's all done. Uh, someone else went through and did this. Uh, looks pretty cool like the iOS 6 days. Uh, there's some other ones here, uh, some girly ones and pastel looking ones. And here's a PlayStation looking one that looks really cool. Again, this would take so long to get just perfect, uh, but hey, these people did it. This is what you should not do. There are a lot of people doing this and it's kind of creepy. Uh, this one is very busy and then someone made all of the uh, Harry Potter ones right here. So those are just some examples of what people have done. If you guys have any cool uh, ideas, feel free to at me on Twitter, I'm at iTouchAppReview, and you guys can send all your pictures of your home screen uh, over there. Uh, but for right now, I think that these widgets are just about fine, but editing these is just kind of cumbersome simply because of that. So that's all I got for this video, guys. This should have gone over everything, hopefully in under 10 minutes, I don't know. I'll try to edit it under that, but that's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.